What you are about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you are about to see are not real life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. Show sights on a Taliban. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. Don't risk an American. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. It's not murder if the guy is in Pakistan. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. When your homie is a predator. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. You're killing people ain't no chore. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. Drop him from a bot. You can even buy them from the grocery store. Drop them from a buy. Drop them from a buy. Deborah, are you still shouting at people? No. Really? No. Remember who you are talking to, my child? <laughs> yes, okay, I'm still shouting at people, but I am trying, Arch, really, I am. Yes, my dear, you are trying. You are very trying. <laughs> it's just a little joke. <laughs> Roger. I have eyes on POTUS. First Lady also present. I repeat, FLOTUS is in position with POTUS. Over. Roger that. Can you confirm POTUS is on the move? I repeat, can you confirm POTUS is on the move? Over. Roger. That's an affirmative. POTUS is moving. I repeat, POTUS is on the move and has reached checkpoint Alpha. That's a Roger Skeko leader. Um, I'm going to need a status report on FLOTUS. Is the First Lady moving too? I repeat, is FLOTUS in the pocket? That's an affirmative. First Lady is on the move. Uh, stand by. POTUS is ingressing checkpoint beta, and FLOTUS is following his lead. I repeat, POTUS is on third base. I repeat, third base. Dude, I can't work like this. Or can I? Hmm, Roger that. <laughs> Hey, racist if it's true, yo. Yo, Debra, you really didn't mince your words with this grim Rita person. I mean, who was she anyway? Uh, Death? Don't know her. Quite an unpleasant one, you know. I'm going to give her peace of my mind when I meet her. Which we hope won't be anytime soon, Arch. Well, it's time to cross to a very special guest, U.S. President Barack Obama. Mr. Obama, your speech at the FNB Stadium was... Sorry, sir, what are you doing? I'm trying to fix this damn Obamacare website. Biggest snafu in American history. <laughs> oh, hello, Archbishop. Hello, Barack. Oh, what a brilliant speech you gave, you know. I really had goosebumps. Uh, thank you, Arch. I guess I felt the, uh, spirit of your great friend Madiba, uh, inspiring me. Yes, 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 I also felt his spirit. In fact, his spirit told me the next time I see you, I should give you a clap. A uh, clap? He means he'll smack you. Uh, why, Bishop? You know, I've always tried to model myself on Madiba. Except for using drones to kill people with your remote controls. Madiba would never have done that. Uh, yeah. Madiba probably wouldn't have done that. But... And listening in to billions of private telephone calls, huh? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that wasn't a... 
No, no, he wouldn't. Uh, he wouldn't have done that. Um, but and not closing Guantanamo Bay. Or... I didn't say I managed to be exactly like him, okay? I just said I tried. <laughs> but, um, as I said, Madiba no longer belongs to us. He belongs to the ages. He and... belongs to us. We only loan him to you. Is he always this punchy? No wonder apartheid crumbled. This guy just doesn't stop. Look, uh, uh all I want to do is celebrate Madiba. Uh, say some stuff that sounds, uh, really stirring and important, but is actually borrowed from all those, uh, uh, old guys who came before me. And then carrying on screwing up the rollout of Obamacare. Can you let me do that? Can you? Of course. Mr. President, it has been a great pleasure. You are not him, and you are not even trying hard enough. Stay in South Africa for a while, and I will teach you how to implement the spirit of Ubuntu. Ubuntu, that's it. That's the software we need to fix this website. Thanks, Arch. <laughs> Guys? Can you believe that guy? Well, what can we say? Not all Nobel Peace Prizes are equal. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Arch. Please come back soon. You're always um, welcome here. Sorry, one more thing. There's a question all our viewers would like to ask you, Arch. Yes, my child, what is it? Will you keep Tata's armchair next to yours? Of course. You know, Deborah, he told me many times that he would just drop in unexpectedly, you know, from up there uh, for a chat now and then. Yes, 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 yes. We had, we had so many of those. Okay, settle down. Shut up. So, as all you know, Apple sold 9 million units of its new iPhone in three days. Well, I'd like to introduce the next step in telecommunications. It's not an iPhone, it's a me phone. Closer, goddammit, Zoom, like we practiced. So, it's stylish, it's handsome, it's gonna be huge, and I love it. Clap, you sons of bitches. Yeah, in fact, it's already so popular that I've sold 50 million units in two hours. But the best part of the me phone are these great social media apps. Hiya, little brother. I'm so sorry to hear that you got cancer. That's terrible, because you can't work for me anymore. That's right, you're fired. It's gonna be huge. Okay, bitches, get back to work now. Come on. Like beach sand stuck in your panty. So are the days of the life. Take it, bitch. Oh, 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 a gum, a gum. Oh, fish your papa. Yeah, fish your mama. You're uh, stop crying. Every Fine, Ninja. OMG, pull yourself together, Ninja. <laughs> Nobody's gonna find out. Ach, Ninja, we'll tweet that we still hate Lady Gaga. <laughs> Nobody will know. Yeah. I'm gonna say your smells like a pizza. But you know, mother like that. A regina with extra feta. Mmm, mother monster. <laughs> I'll be a girl. So are the days of our lives. We've got to take a short break, so without further ado, and with no more mentions of the American military industrial complex. Over the world, man fights nature and she does weep. Since the explosion in popularity of the Brazilian wax, the beautiful and majestic human pubic glass is on the verge 
of extinction. As its habitat is torn down bush by bush, uh, it's being forced into even tighter territories, making it really tough for those little critters to eke out a decent living. You can help by pledging to say no to your local beautician beach and letting your mound grow free and wild like the Garden of Eden. Also doing like they do on the Discovery Channel with other like-minded people. Your local Woolworths will also allow you to donate some of your own crabs to their breeding program by trying on their underwear, going for a jog, and then returning it to their shelves. Always think organic and natural. As much as it eats and burns, do not beat them to approach your local pharmacist. Or disappear into the bathroom in the middle of the night to shampoo their last remaining sanctuaries. Cause then you're a moorse puss. Yeah, or an insensitive asshole. Or a dead person. Thank you for caring. Death. Absolutely not, Mr. Lapierre. The NRA can bring as much pressure as you like. I will not back down. On target. Oh, yeah. Look, buddy, I know that no set of laws can keep our children, our citizens safe. But if there's one thing we can do, if there's one life we can save, we've got an obligation to try. On target. Bullseye. Look, there is no point in getting aggressive with me. You know how I hate guns and all the senseless killing. What? You're not talking about guns. You want the right to bear drones? Well, in that case, as long as it's ethical. Target missed. Oh, shoot. Missed that one. I'll get you next time, mother -fucker. Ninja, man, I'm broody. F*** my sexy b You know I'm a mean mother with a duck truck. But I shoot blanks, man. But that's just it. I read this story about a doctor looking for a woman to be implanted with the fetus of a Neanderthal. What the f***? Yes, that's disgusting. Ugh, ninja, it would be nice. Just think a little Neanderthal baby running around, eating in the caravan, making little paintings with little shit tattoos. But babe, I don't want like someone else sticking their pill in you. It's science, Ninja. They use tubes and cock, man, like when we make tuck. It can run around in the caravan and look, we've got food. Me and the Neanderthal baby daddy. Imagine. Ninja, babe. Yolandi, babe. Yes, Ninja? I feel a rap coming on. Hear it. Simpampa, Ninja Slighty. Simpampa, Yolandi Slighty. Try a neck om, go in the sloot. Trap up the cop, turn and say do it. Let's do it, babes. Let's do it. Come here, let's do it. Yeah, that's it. Let's do it. Yeah. Yo, flex it, flex it, babe, flex it. We are going to take an ad break now, and it's going to be cuck. But please stay tuned because if you don't watch this show, we get fired, and that would be even more cuck than having taken an ad break. Hectic. <laughs> In uncertain times, where global markets have collapsed and people make unreasonable demands, where a myriad of unseen threats lurk, there is only one way to secure your future. Plunder card! The choice of the world's one percent, wherever you are. Plunder Card, your key to lasting wealth and financial security. Now available in diamond and platinum class. T's and C's apply. Hey, I spent hours rubbing and scrubbing, but I just can't get rid of this stain. I wish I had something stronger. Ooh, Sissy, I've got just a thing. You need new moral finish. It will remove moral stains with ease. How? Easy. Just take one scoop. How? It's high corruption action works even in the toughest conditions and removes tough stains like principles, ethics, and that color momo Yeah, yeah. Leaving your politics free of morals. Just look how happy I am. Hey, hey. How? All the stains have vanished. And look, 
you too can have the moral stain removal power available from your nearest Manga Wung elective conference now. How? Vanish. Trust Zuma. Forget your morals. Last a minimum of 10 years. T's and C's apply. French style. French sophistication. French sex appeal. French inability to make a car that works. The new debacle brings together cutting-edge design, continental flair, and an engine that mysteriously just stops working after five or six minutes of driving pleasure. Parts are impossible to find, and even more impossible to afford. But don't worry, you won't own this car long enough to send it for repairs. Buy one today, and you'll be trying to sell it tomorrow to someone even more gullible than you. For everything you've come to expect in a French car. So chic, so shiny, so shit. Debacle, the car you deserve for buying French. You are unique. The greatest, unstoppable. The invincible superstar pushing the limits. Always on. Until 18 holes aren't enough. You're on way more than just your bike. You think you are the bullet in the chamber. And you want to take things to the next level? Then we have a message for you. Yeah, it means there are only nine more days until I go completely off my face and lock myself in my bedroom and cry until my family has gone home. <laughs> Hello, little ones, and welcome to story time with today's storytellers, Uncle Vladimir Putin and Um Basha Al Assad. Fraternal greetings, young comrades. Hello, little human seals. One day, a little girl went for a walk in the woods. She was wearing a red hood. Mmm, the color of blood. So, little red riding hood is walking through the woods to visit her grandmother. The little girl doesn't know that a big bad wolf is following her. The wolf, of course, represents the evil America. So, then Barack Obama... I beg your pardon. The wolf ask where she is going. She tell the wolf she is going to visit her sick granny. Stupid informer girl. She should be gassed for betraying her grandmother, who is surely a supporter of the glorious corrective revolution. The girl has no business in the forest. Forests are for men. Real men like me and... Like me. Also, maybe this girl is a pussy riot. I think the wolf must eat her. Mm, I would love to eat a pussy riot. Mm. Down, boy. So, the wolf eats the grandmother, puts on a dressing gown, and gets into her bed. In Syria, we do not allow wolves to dress in a woman's clothing. It is a natural. Da. So, Little Red Riding Hood goes into the house and sees that something is not right with her grandmother. She says, what big eyes you have. And the wolf says, they're better to see where you are hiding all your chemical weapons. Then she says, what big hands you have. The better to meddle in your affairs. Finally. Little Red Riding Hood says, what a big mouth you have. And the wolf says, they're better to lecture everyone about democracy and human rights. Then the wolf eats the girl. End of story. Survival of the fittest. Kill or be killed. A lumberjack, big and strong and heterosexual like me, Cuts open the wolf and saves the girl and the grandmother. And that, kitties, is how the story ends. Voila! Come, Bashar, let us go drink vodka and kick homo ass. Now you are talking, Vlad. I said kick, not kiss. 
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my pre-Christmas message. Now shut up and listen. I love Christmas. It's huge in my family. But what I don't love is Santa Claus coming along every year to give away presents for free. What is this? Europe? America wasn't built on charity, goddammit. Are we gonna just sit back and let this French socialist homosexual Santa Claus fly around corrupting our country with free stuff? No. There's only one sugar daddy in this country, and the only thing I give away for free is hair that falls out of my comb over and gets caught in your teeth. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm declaring a no-fly zone over the whole of Lower Manhattan. And if that goddamn red commie shows up anywhere in my airspace, I'm gonna shoot him down faster than Obamacare. I got missiles on the roof, bear traps on the stairs, and anti-personnel mines in the chimney. It's gonna be huge. And Santa, if you're listening, bonjour, asshole. The moment you set foot in one Trump Tower, you're fired. Boom. Right. The boss in the HR department would like to ask you a few questions. Consider this your exit interview, if you will. Akele Oske ad centrum. Your eminence, if you can, please try and avoid speaking in Latin. It's extinct. Eh? Extinct! Uh, uh, me penite, I will try. Uh, perhaps you can tell us why you are unhappy with the job. <sighs> Well, uh, since I took over in 2005, I get the feeling that the boss is, uh, how can I say, uh, not happy with me. Go on. I pray all the time. I say the rosary, but no, nothing, nothing, not even an email. I feel like I'm in an episode of Charlie's Angels. In fact, he has ignored me completely. But your eminence, the boss is a very busy man, you must understand. But I even started this twittering, how you say, a tweeting, but no. I say I hate the homosexual women, but silencia nada. I got the message in the end. But your eminence, you know as a part of your contract, you cannot resign. Only the boss can terminate you. Well, to him I say, take this crappy job with its pedophilic priestess and its ridiculous rituals and incantations. The smelly incense and the shove it. <sighs> your eminence, I must advise you. The boss does not appreciate this tone. You do realize you have a lot to lose. You mean I can't keep the Prada shoes? No. The nice gold dresses and the lovely big hat? No. The Papa Mobile? Surely I can keep the Papa Mobile as a severance package? No. The lovely choir boys? No. Having a second thoughts? Sorry. Uh... That's the end of our show for this week. Debra, how was I? Better than last week? Uh, you're still a bit wooden. But I've been moving my hands around all over the place. Yeah, but you've got to... Oh, seriously? You've got to do more with your face. Like this. Uh, uh. Okay, but now you're just being deranged. Justice, I'm not deranged, okay? I'm just... Oh. Oh. Well, that's my cue to say good night, good luck, and remember, in a puppet nation, you pull the strings. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> that was a bit deranged. <clears throat> <clears throat> what is it again? I'm busy. Barack, I am very, very disappointed in you. Oh, Archbishop Tutu. Look, uh, I, I know I don't go to church every Sunday, but I do pray every day, or every second day. It's not that. Do you think that you can just push a button and kill someone and not have to answer in court? Oh, that. But Arch, we're under threat. We don't do this lightly. Target. 
missed. Oh, shoot. Sorry, uh, you were saying? At least that stupid bush actually kept your people alive. And then he tortured them. And that is a violation of their human rights. Barack, these blind killings undermine your moral authority. Corrupt your soul. Archbishop, we are very precise in identifying our targets. Still, this is nonsense. Do the lives of non-U.S. citizens mean nothing to you? Oh, oh, Desmond, I, I think I'm picking up a threat. There, there seems to be some irregular movement somewhere in South Africa. Barack, this has to stop immediately. Archbishop, may, if I may interrupt, are you waving your arms around? Yes. Why? Are you wearing a long dress kind of a thing? A cassock, yes. I always do. Okay. Now sit still for a moment. I am. Now move again. I am. What is going on here? <laughs> You're lucky. I almost zapped you. <laughs>